Hey guys and welcome back to another Procreate tutorial. I'm continuing my Christmas mood illustrations and today we'll draw this cute elf in Procreate. We will use only three brushes. We'll use Moonlight brush, 6B pencil and big green brush. It's the brush that I created and I will leave the link in the description so you can download it and use it. We'll also use this color palette. I will also leave the link in the description below so you can download it and use it as well. But again, you can use your own colors. Okay, and now let's get started. The first thing we'll have to do is create a new canvas. So we'll go to this little plus sign up here and we'll click the screen size. Now it takes us to our canvas and we'll start our drawing. So the first thing we'll have to do is turn on the drawing guide. So we'll go to actions, canvas, turn on the drawing guide and we'll go edit drawing guide and we'll click symmetry and we'll click done. So then we'll go ahead and name this layer, we'll call it head one and we will use this red and we will go and choose the modeling brush. We'll start by creating a head, we'll create the red part of the head and then the green one. First thing we'll have to do is just create the curvy line like this, then one line to the side and then we'll just have to create this zip line like this. There we go. One part of the head is ready. Then we'll go ahead and create a new layer underneath this first head layer. We'll call it head two. We'll go and we'll take this green. We'll make sure that this layer is drawing assisted layer. So we'll click on it and then click drawing assisted layer. Awesome. And now all we have to do is just draw this triangle. Don't forget to connect it and color fill it. Now we'll go back to the head layer one. We'll take red again. And all we'll have to do is just create the little top of the head. You can make a circular, I'll make it sort of this shape, and color fill it. Now when we have our hat, we'll have to create the head. So we'll go and create a new layer, we'll drag it underneath the hat's layer, we'll call it head. Awesome. We will take this color. Again, we'll make sure that the layer is drawing assisted layer. So we'll go from this side and we'll create sort of a round face like this. Now I have to connect it and color fill it to this area as well. Awesome, now we'll go create the ears. So I'll go and create a new layer. I'll drag it underneath the head layers. Layer I'll call it ears. And I'm still using the same brush and the same color. The ear will, will be sort of in the shape of a leaf. So something like this. So we'll create a curvy line like this and just bring it down. Now don't forget to connect it and color fill it. Now we'll go switch to this pink and we'll create the inside of the ear. Sort of the same shape but smaller. Connect it and color it. We'll leave the hat for now. So we'll go and create a new layer. We'll go underneath and we will call it color. And we will go and take this red again. We'll make sure that the layer is a drawing assisted layer. And all we have to do is just create this color for our elf. We will just create a line going this way. Don't forget to connect it and color fill it. Now we'll create the rest of the dress, so we'll create a new layer underneath the color layer. We will call it dress. We will take this green, the one we used before. And again, don't forget to make sure it's a drawing assisted layer. So we'll create one line down. Now we'll go with the zip line again. Don't forget to connect it and you can color fill. Now we'll create the arms, so we'll go ahead and create a new layer. We'll go underneath the dress layer, we'll call it arms, we'll use the same color, we'll create an arm coming this way, there you go, don't forget to connect it, and you may color fill it. Now we'll create the hands, so we'll go and create an underneath of everything, we'll call it hands, we will take this, this color that we used before for the face, and all we have to do is just draw four fingers and one more, like this, color fill it. Now we'll go underneath everything, we will call this layer legs, we will take this red, so we'll have to create one line down like this, we'll create one more line down, connect it, then connect here as well, color fill it and the legs are almost ready now we'll just draw the boots so we'll create a new layer on top of the legs we'll call it boots we'll take this brown and starting somewhere here we'll create a slightly curved line then we'll take it down then we'll create this curvy line and then connect with this one now we can color fill them and take this red put this cute little circle ball to the top of the boot. Now we'll come back to our legs, we'll take white, we will take two fingers and swipe it to the right to make it alpha lock and we will draw the white part. Okay, 
Now we'll go to background layer and we'll change it. So we'll take click this first right here. And here we go. Now you can see his legs. And now we'll go back to the head layer and we'll create the face. So we'll go on top of the head. We'll call it face. So we'll go and take white. So we'll create two eyes. Then we'll go and take black. We'll make our brush a little smaller. We'll create a circle like this. Now we'll take pink and we'll put two chicks. Now we'll turn off the assisted layer function and we'll continue. So we'll take white again. We'll make our brush smaller. We'll create a circle like this and a circle like this. We'll take this color and we'll create a little nose starting somewhere here. Then we'll take red and we'll create a cute little mouth. Awesome, but now he's here. So we'll create a new layer on top of it. We'll call it hair. We'll take this brown again. And all we have to do is just create a hair line for him. Like this, don't forget to connect it. And color fill it. Now we'll go back to the coat layer. We'll go on top, we'll call it buttons. We'll take black, make brush a little bigger and we'll put three buttons. Now he's almost ready, but he looks a little plain. So we'll add some shadows and texture to him. We'll start with the head. So we'll go to the head layer, head one. Now we'll switch to the 6B pencil and we'll take this red right here. Now we'll go also take two fingers and swipe it to the right to make it alpha lock. All we have to do is just add some texture more from the sides. Since it's drawing assisted layer still, we'll draw on both sides which is nice, it's less work for us. I want to make my brush smaller and add more right here at the bottom and also a little more on this side. You can also switch to this color and add a little more to this side. Now we'll go to this part of the head. So we'll go to the green head layer. We'll take two fingers and swipe it to the right. We will take this green. All we have to do is just add more shading from the sides. Again, it's a drawing assisted layer, so we'll be working on both sides. Now we'll switch to this color. Add a little more from both, uh, from this side. underneath this red thing. Now we'll go back to this red little thing. Go and take this red, texture to those sides. That's all for the head. Now we'll go to his face. So we'll go and click head clear. Take two fingers and swipe it to the right. We'll take this beige right here, the darker one. And all we have to do is just add some texture here at the edge of his face. So here. A little more from this uh, this area where the chick is and now we'll just add a little bit behind the, his hair okay now we'll go back to the ears take the fingers and swipe it to the right again using the same color same brush we'll just add a little bit of texture oops that's a little too much make sure you work gently the ears are also ready. Now we'll go to his dress. So we'll first go to the color, take the fingers, swipe it to the right. We'll take this red and again, doing the same thing. We'll start from the edges. Now we'll switch to this color. Good, then this side again. That's also ready. Now we'll go to his green red. So we'll go to the dress layer, take the fingers and move it to the right. And we'll take this color. Again, doing the same thing, just adding more, te more texture, starting from the sides. So we'll add here, more underneath the color. Switch to the darkest. And just add a line. Now we'll switch to the hands. So we'll go to the arms layer, swipe it to the right, take this green, and we'll do the same thing, but adding more, more shadow right here. Then we'll switch to the dark layer, dark green, and adding a line like this. That's all. Now we'll go to, to the hands. So we'll go to the hands layer, swipe it to the right. We'll take this again 
and just adding a little more texture to the head. So something like this, adding more here and here. Good! Now our elf is almost ready, now we'll just have to fix his legs. So we'll go to the legs layer first. It's already alpha locked, so we'll take this around the end. All we have to do is just add a little bit of texture to from this side and just a tiny bit from the outside. Now we'll go to his boots. We'll take this brown and we'll draw this parts first where the heel is. I'll make our brush bigger and we'll just add some texture from the top and down where the sole is. We can even make a line here and a line going this way. Now we'll fix this part. So we'll take this red, darker red add a little more on the top. Now our elf is almost ready. Now first of all, we'll add the shadow for him where he stands. So we'll go underneath of everything. We'll call this layer shadow. We'll use the modeling brush and we'll take this color, the darker purple. And all we have to do is just create an oval right of where he stands and color fill this oval. And now we'll just have to create the highlight behind him. So we'll go and take a switch to the big green brush. That's the one I provided, but you can use any brushes actually. We'll take this color and we'll create a new layer. We will call it highlights. We'll make out this brush big. And all you have to do is just create a circle behind him. Almost done. Now we'll go and create a new layer. We'll call it snow. We'll take white and we'll switch to the modeling brush. And all you have to do is just put this circles that would be our snow. We can make it, make some bigger and some smaller. Anywhere on the canvas. And here we go. That's our elf. Now we'll go to the actions canvas and turn off the drawing guides. We don't have any lines in the middle. I told you it will be super easy tutorial, but this cute, this guy is super cute. You can create any illustrations with him. You can make stickers or you can make those tags for presents uh, with this guy. It's super cute and it will be perfect for Christmas and winter holidays. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you had a lot of fun and I will see you in the next one.